car just drove it down into three, and he's going to lose all kind of oh, positions. Oh, Lord. Fact, Warpower, Power, Ricky Rudd. Sideways. Cody Stewart gets damaged. Caution is out. Ward Burton in the four was trying. Gets tapped by the 20 car. The two of those guys get together. Watch this 19 car come around. That's it's going to. Yep, the 19 is trying to lift. See the windshield go out. The minute the car turned backwards, those flaps on the hood opened up. Release the air on the hood. The windshield peels out of it and it sets back down. Well, watch where it goes now. This is when the trouble began. Ooh, up behind it, there's Hensley into the wall hard. That's bad because you can see them coming. Boy, the guys behind him did a good job. He's peeing on the wall. He's one squeezing through here. That's the four car. He's already wrecked. Excuse me, the 41 car. And yeah, Newman was just up on oh. the wall. Oh, that start, it started in front of him. Oh, man. Oh, talk about that bad luck, BP. Look at Kurt Busch. That is hard to do. Inside is going to make a pit stop. I guess yeah. that's Mark Martin was going to make a pit stop. And Jeff Gordon had already decided to make a pit stop. He's not involved in the, I thought he was involved in the crash, and he was coming down pit road. Oh, that was a tremendous break for him. And, and after Jeff Gordon entered pit road, the pit road closed. Oh, oh smoker, man. Ernie, Woo. hard into the wall. Tail end first. And that this will be something for the Glover family as well. Oh, Rick Wilson hit the wall. He blew a tire. Blue tire hit the wall hard. Labonte's in the same wall. Rick Wilson. By the 11th lap, number four, Joe Rutman, was the first casualty, along with Kyle Petty and Neil Bonnet. Only Rutman was out. On the bottom, inside. Wow. Ten car hole behind at 84. I saw the uh, I think that yellow car on the inside yep. gets in. Yeah, it gets up into Rusty. That's Mike Skinner. Skinner, in the Skinner. And here comes the Gordon. He's in the smoke. He had no idea where anybody is. And he gets in the Skinner's car. You know, Daryl, that's right there in turn two. We've seen that a lot. That's what happened with Dale Jarrett and Steve Park. It's like the car in the bottom just can't stick there and gets into the car above it. Larry, the, when you enter turn one here, you can just you can really the corner. And I guess the 90 car got some contact from the 97 car, but he goes right across the racetrack in front of, mm. of the four car. And the racetrack now just gets blocked as John Andretti spins to dodge all this stuff. And the car is coming. Tremendous side-by-side -side racing and a crash. Mark Martin's car lifts off the ground, but does not go over. But this crash is going to involve several cars. You see Hutt Strickland in the mud there. Spun, looped up to the wall, and come down. Rick, See, Rick just didn't know he was there. Daryl pulled right down, and Rick, I don't think Rick ever knew he was there. No, I don't think so. Daryl pulled down at the last second because he saw Butch. I'm sure Rick didn't see him, and then when Daryl pulled out of the way, boom, Butch was right there, and Rick had nowhere to go. Just a tremendous crash. And, uh, fortunately, both drivers got out, and we're awfully happy to see that. See, the fire really is away from the uh, Three wide for third position. Side on the driver's side too. See, yeah, see the see the tire. Yeah, yep. that airliner has a good call. Good, uh, good eyes there. After 43, four laps there, just gets up out of the groove, can't stop it. Now he can't steer it. Kind of. Another look. Watch John Andretti's car right there, coming over and touching Jeff Gordon. That initiated it. Gordon went into the four car of Sterling Marlin. Gordon hits Earnhardt. Spencer. 31 car, Mike, Mike Skinner, Skinner gets involved. And Jeremy Mayfield, his car goes up and over. There's Jerry down on the inside. He slides back up on the track. Wow. Uh oh, Ooh, he's loose again. Here I take a try with him. Bodine's going to be involved, I believe. Several cars are going to get tangled up in this mess. The track is going to be completely it blocked. Up. And so did Earnhardt. Earnhardt got through unscathed, I believe, but we have a mess. That he is in the fourth spot behind the Trouble, Mike, throw in turn one. One car, Dick Brooks is around, Baker is in it, Bonnet, Bodine, Richmond. Oh, on the restart, Mike, when all the cars were bumper to bumper, they just, no place to go. Bobby, Bobby Hill is spinning around. 
coming off a of turn two where we've said that it's uh, the wind. Somebody got into the back of that car that right was there. That's Ward Burton yep. right there. I saw a puff of tire smoke, and then everything let loose. I think that's what started. Somebody got back of Ward Burton off I, turn two. I, I'm pretty sure the, 20, the uh, four car got into the back of Ward Burton, turned him into the 20 car, and God help all of them because there's no place to go. And you can't see. Inside, they go in the corner, and just like Earlier in the race, we saw Sterling get loose, getting in the corner. He had to correct it, and this time, the Spam car, Lake Speed, was on the outside of him, and there was nothing he could do except go in the side of Lake Scar. We saw him earlier in the race do that, only th that time he was on the outside. Lead in the back straightaway. Bernie Irvin out of Modesto, Ooh. California, hits. He's into Elliott. They're sliding, trying to correct, pick them up. Into the wall goes Sterling Marlin, and the leaders are all in trouble here. Richard Petty's car getting hit. A serious crash in the back straightaway. Penny is in. Wilson it. behind Bodine. Oh, and Richard is out of control. Jeff Bodine hitting hard. Penny is involved. So is Rick Wilson and Alan Kowicki. That's the needle. Kowicki gets through, and Rick Wilson backs into Richard Petty. Richard Petty getting out of control. The car coming out from underneath him as they came off of turn number four. Getting anything to do with what happened to him here. Ooh. It's almost like it all started with Robbie Gordon and Robbie. the seven. Ward Burton and the four got together. Yeah, Robbie drove down underneath Ward and they got together and Casey was high on the outside in the 25 and put him in the fence. It was just a victim and that's exactly what he was yesterday on that clean. Ooh, couldn't tell, did the 32 get in the back of him? I think so. That's what it looked like. Rusty sneaks through with minimal damage. So does Jeff Gordon. I think Michael Waltrip got hit. Kurt Busch has got damage, but not a lot, I don't think. Mike Wallace, number four, right at the end. Boy, he just got up on the high yeah. side, and off he went. Kenseth right with him. Kenseth goes straight in the wall there. It's like some fluid was on the racetrack, yeah. and Kenseth just... Here's what happened. Looked like he had a little contact there, then he got into the right rear corner, and both of them go into the wall pretty hard there. And those cars are junk. See, Marlins, the front end is all caved. Okay, the car number... Looks like Brett. Brett Bodine, it looks like spun sideways as he came around, and there's Michael Waltrip hitting him, and... You'll see Lake Speed spin into the picture at the top of the screen here in a moment. There he is, and then boom! Oh. Well, he it's didn't hit Michael in the driver's side as much yeah. as he did in the uh, left rear of the car. Hillen Jr. Cohen, Rick Wilson, and Jeff Bodine get together. Hard hit, Hillen is collected. Darrell Walton, Brett Bodine, Alan Kowicki. Brett goes up the wall, tags with his brother Jeff Bodine. And we are under caution, needless to say, Dave Marcus's car comes down. He spins on the back straightaway. Oh, that's Marcus and Hillen. They do. There we see brake rotor pieces. You're right. The rotor is broken. Pieces are flying around before he ever gets to the wall. Yeah, as soon as he hit the brakes, he was at the braking point. So as soon as, as he spins down the back stretch, eyes wide shut. Still, it's hard to tell, buddy. It looked like, based on what you said, he, he ran way down to the inside. 90, 95 car, the white car on the inside. Coming along right on the inside. Okay, there's the aerodynamics. The 71 car pulling the air off of that 95. The rear wheel's coming out from the car. Nobody touches him, just loses traction. He starts coming around, and he's going to back up the racetrack some. He's got so much speed up. He got the front wheels on the flat area. Here comes the 94 car, and just went past him. Barely cleared him. He's going to go up, back into the wall, and this is where the trouble starts. It gives him a shot back down across the racetrack. That's 24 degrees of banking. The car is not going to stay up there. He starts coming back across the track. If you'll watch, coming in frame, the yellow car of Ernie Irvin, nowhere to go, and this wipes out the, the four car. Here we see it from another angle. Ernie Irvin trying his best to get out of the way, and it virtually rips the rear end out from under the four car. gear he's fallen a lap behind and it picks oh we got a car on the wall that's rick wilson he is half the wall here comes hamilton there's a 12 car of mayfield and boom tough night for bobby hamilton let's talk to him bill weber and he's maintained position 
Wow. Oh, no, Sykes is in trouble. And takes Penny with him. And we're going to have a terrific crash here as nearly all the field is going to be involved in this crash. There are only about 10 to 12 cars that survive this melee just past the starting line. When you have the Rich Wilson comes off the second corner. Tim Richmond goes by on the outside, and he, there was somebody on the outside of Rick Wilson when he tried to go back up. He hit Rick Wilson in the right rear, spun him there. The engine is dead. See the red light on? That means that the engine has went down. You cannot do anything about it. Like Jimmy Spencer Boy. was up there in the high line. He had nowhere to go. Track was blocked. Some nice moves there to avoid being a participant. And once again, Terry Labonte, remember, yesterday. It's fabulous watching this. Uh oh, Kyle, Kyle Petty. And he takes out Sterling Marlin. And Mark Martin somehow gets by, and Kyle's going in the wall head on. Oh, terrific impact for Kyle Petty. Boy, that was a big hit. What happened here in turn number one? Where, where did it begin? Well, Ernie Irvin slipped turn number four. sideways going into the turn. Now, whether he was tapped as that Buddy Baker right behind him, they're running all close together. And then he backs up into the car number 68 of Bobby Hamilton and Rick Wilson right there with nowhere to go. And that's Spencer's car on the left up against the wall. Richard Petty spinning down on the inside. You can see Dale Jarrett getting down on the flat. He, he got through the mess. Ernie Irvin took a left and a right there. Looks like he was collected by Blake Speed after he was initially hit on the outside. Mike Skinner spun around, just not much he could do in the middle of the pack there. Pretty hard impact right there. Uh, he's already committed to whatever caused the deal there, but he, look at this uh, car on the top. Swerve. Oh, swerve. Oh, swerve. Oh, swerve. Got him. Almost he couldn't enough. help it. John Andretti snuck through. I believe Ward Burton got in the back of the 45 car, Christian Fittipaldi. Jarrett got clipped on the right rear. There's Elliott. Ward Burton gets in the side of Earnhardt. Just touches him. Elliott in there on the roof, sliding across. We see Chad Little going down, hit Michael Waltrip. The three car gets banged from Jerry Nadeau, I think. Elliott's car now back on its wheels. We see Schrader down on the inside. Bobby Hamilton, heavy damage to Schrader's car. Chad Little involved. What happened? Just coming off the second corner, and around it goes. Ricky Rudd, not within a car length or two of the Kodak film Chevrolet, and he goes down and hits the wall pretty good with that right side, Ned. Bob, you said that going into the turns, coming off. Would be second there. place. One Whoa, left. There, there you go. There you go. This is it, guys. Jared Nemechek, Jeff Burton, Mike Skinner. It's One over. Car hard up into the wall, joined by another. And they just keep wrecking. And the hits keep on coming. And the big hit was Joe Nemechek, Brett Bodine on fire. And behind them, he checked up and He's found the wall. You see the tires locked there. That's what makes the tires blow out. If he'd have backed off the brake, of course, he'd have hit the inside wall a lot harder. But <laughs> three years here, he has earned more. Oh, oh, oh look crash. out. Davey Allison is in the crash, Bob. Oh, Ernie Irvin, and it's all over for Davey Allison. No, it's not over yet. I don't think he hit him that hard in the 92 car. Oh, Junior. Oh, oh trouble. It is. Ward Burton. Jeff Burton's in it. Kevin LePage and Dale Jarrett. Dale Jarrett, the championship leader with the nose of his car. Oh, that's car. I think that fender's getting worse and worse. Oh, did he make contact with Ford? Oh, yes, he did. Hamilton spin. And this may not be a multi-car crash. Looks like maybe just two are going to be involved. Practice the other day. Well, here we can see the car number four of Phil Parsons already sideways. Alan Kowicki down on the inside and Rob Moroso right in the middle. And Mike Alexander, the car coming up behind there, the red car number 12 as they spin out into the grass. A lot of water. damage done to the three cars on the left, the 20 car, the 12 car, and the four car. Now, Alan Kowicki doesn't seem to have... Mark Martin on the out. 
closes up on Larry Pearson and Rick Wilson and Pearson hit and that's what starts it all right there. The 16 car of Larry Pearson 